Hi, my name is Taylor Hayne, and I watched the film Restless Creature with Wendy Wilhelm. I actually really enjoyed watching this film. It was very informative and just entertaining to see the life of a ballet dancer that I personally don't know. Um, one of the questions was what did I learn about the life of a ballet dancer? I did not realize how much stress there was emotionally and physically on ballet dancers because Wendy did not verbally say that she was stressed but you could tell towards the end of her career by just her body alone because she was starting to get more injuries and her scoliosis was becoming more painful and she had to have a surgery for her hips because her bones and her cartilage were being worn just through over the years of performing and it was amazing to see how much work and effort that she put into with all the dancers and how much time she spent with them just to show them that she and wanted to want them to be involved and wants them to love doing ballet and as ballet in regards of discipline it to me is a very disciplined sport just because you usually have to be younger and when you start out young and you don't get to continue to ballet for forever just because your bones get brittle and you're more prone to injuries and some people can't stay fit for the rest of their lives and I noticed too that it's a lot of male and female roles there really weren't any female and female roles or there was in the end which was Wendy's last performance it was Wendy and two males performing and I, I really liked that it was very fun to watch but other than that I know that ballet is expensive too and for some people they can't afford it and for some people they have to start from when they're really young like Wendy did and they perfect themselves and they grow to love it more and they get to perform more and they just enjoy it but me personally I know since I didn't do ballet or dance as a child I know that it can put a ton of stress on you and you have guidelines that you have to follow sometimes as in you know you can't have children right away you have to watch your figure and then you of course have to pay attention for injuries because if you mess up an injury and you don't get it taken care of right away it could really hurt you in the long run and that could stop your career sooner rather than later and I noticed that I can relate to a couple of things as a ballet dancer. Um, I know that they spend a lot of their time with education and getting into really great universities and, well, schools for ballet. And she, Wendy, got into a really great school and was always furthering her education and dancing and practicing. And with me and a, being a nursing major, I know that my education has to be very important because it's something I will do to help other people. And I know that I'm going to put all of my time into my education to make sure I know what I'm doing and I have everything correct. And with the athleticism of ballet, in high school, not really important, but in high school, I was on the track team, and we had to train every day. We had to practice. We had to do workouts. Some of us had to go to the physical therapist a lot, just like Wendy did throughout her career. And I was, a, since I was a part of the team, I was, I can understand what it's like to not want to quit and to want to keep trying even though there are injuries or something else that's wanting us to stop but our mind is telling us to keep going and I I think that it's great that she got to end her well retire and her career 
um, with her last performance because it was great and I know that she will view her career now as something that she really enjoyed doing and she does not regret a single thing. So thank you for watching.